We are back. Danny Pellegrino hosts Everything Iconic with Danny Pellegrino. New episodes weekly. Sasha Morfa can be found at, at the Bravo Breakdown. Evan Ross Katz. Podcast is called Shut Up. Evan, new episodes Tuesday. He also has a fashion column in Paper Magazine. Samantha Bush on Instagram is at Bravo Historian. Okay, for all of you, Jen Durant 3. Thoughts on, true thoughts on Erica Girardi's divorce. Anybody want to take this? I knew something I, I just was hope up we should play when out. go to the premiere. Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead, Samantha. I just knew something was up when he didn't go to the premiere of Chicago. I like thought that was, was quite odd there, myself. That was That's odd. So yeah. weird. Yes. I thought it was odd he didn't read his book, be- her book, before it came out either. You might remember that okay. moment from the reunion. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, for all of you, Angela Mayhu wants to know who had the better freshman season, Wendy or Leah? Was it Wendy? Raise your hand. Oh, Wendy, for sure. Oh, wow. Didn't, didn't, okay, very good. I like Leah too, though. I just, I, I, I loved Wendy right. on the show. I thought she was so good. Um, Hunter yeah, L. Yeah, brought so much to the show. Hunter L. Uh, texted, well, what do you all think of the new Dallas housewife, Tiffany Moon? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh. Yeah. Love Tiffany. Love her. Yeah. Love Big thumbs up. She's amazing. Zeke's Lunchbox, yeah. what are your predictions on the most entertaining Housewife franchise in 2021? Um, any thoughts? You've got Erica's situation coming up on Beverly Hills. You've got New York Housewives with Ebony K. Williams. You've got yeah. um, Jersey. Jersey. You've seen the t- trailer. Yeah. It's incredible. Uh, you've got new, new Potomac coming up. I mean, uh, any thoughts? I, I, I'm excited about all of them, and also uh, Salt Lake City. I'm I'm really hoping they come back for season two because I'm loving season one, and I feel like season two could just be like blow blowing it out of the water. Oh, so they're hoping- coming back for a mm-hmm. season two. Okay, good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. And I, I mean, just yeah. I, I feel nervous about yeah. Beverly Hills because sometimes you know I'm looking forward to. Uh, so sometimes I'm nervous about Beverly Hills because you know we think we're going to get a lot, and then when the show actually airs, they kind of skate around. So I'm not. My expectations are a little low as far as what they're going to actually reveal. You know they're, what I'm saying? They're talking. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. For okay. Kathy oh, good. I am ready for Kathy Hilton. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Uh, for all of you, crafting Kelly wants to know. The first Bravo show you fell in love with, what's the first Bravo show you fell in love with? Mine was, oh, Atlanta season one. Atlanta season one, Samantha, Sasha? Yes. Same, same. When I saw Nene and Kim together, I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a duo like this in my life and I died. I know, we missed them. Danny. I was obsessed with Kathy Griffin's My Life on the D-List. I think it's one of the most brilliant reality shows of all time. I hope we get it streaming somewhere. I was obsessed with it. That was a good show. Uh, Danny. NYC Prep. I mean, uh, Evan, NYC Prep. <gasps> NYC Prep, I mean. Where are they now? For a lot of young people. Yeah. That was a great See? show. Oh. Gallery Girls. It was a great show. I know. Gallery right. Girls. <laughs> it was a good one. Um, okay. What else? Okay. For all of you, Mary M wants to know the nicest and meanest housewife you've ever met. Um, anyone, just raise your hand if you want to take this. Okay, Danny. I met... I'll say Margaret has always been super nice to me. She was the first housewife to come on my podcast. And so okay. I've always just felt a love for her. I, I think she's so sweet, so incredibly sweet. Any disappointing encounters? Yeah, I've had a couple. I think there, <laughs> there was one I had on my show recently that just didn't go the way I thought or hoped it would go. And I'm not going to say her name because then I feel like I'll get a yelled at. But um, people can hear it and it, you know, it was rough. It rhymes with, uh, never mind. <laughs> she I, once had a friendship with Jill. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, Samantha, you were going to say? Um, I was going to say that and like Dorinda is super nice. Um, Margaret was super nice when I met her. I haven't had a bad experience, really, with any of them. Evan? 
I think Lisa Rinna is just the nicest. She's super real, and it's not that she plays a character on the show, but the Lisa kind of behind the scenes is, uh, I enjoy her a lot more. Okay, and uh, Sasha, have you had any highs or lows? I, I have not actually met any of them. I had some good interactions on social media with Sonia. She's always super friendly, loves my videos, super supportive, so she's always a girl's girl, like she is. Sasha, where do you live, by the way? I'm in LA. Oh, excellent. So you would think I would run into a few Beverly Hills girls here and there, but I, I have not. All right. Um, well, this has been super fun. I feel like I have the night off. I love your hot takes. Uh, and we will all uh, look for you on your podcasts or on Instagram or wherever you can be found. Thanks, guys. Keep clicking around, bravotv.com. So Good night, everybody. Thanks, audience.